Hello, my name is Max Rogers. I'm probably best known as being a model um, from things like Tommy Hilfiger campaigns. I did Tom Ford, Dolce Gabbana, Vogue cover. And uh, I'm into sustainable fashion. So this fashion week, I'm uh, on a little mission to try and spread the message of anti-disposable fashion, basically. I think from the outside looking in, on the surface of it, Fashion Week probably isn't that important to people. But when you consider the wider issue that our culture informs us as people, that is who we are. If we were to be wiped off the face of the earth right now and someone came and replaced us, they would know who we are given the culture that we've created. And that's evident in our architecture, in our music, in our films, and uh, in our style. And I believe that nothing informs those key areas of culture and arts and things like that more than fashion. About five or six years ago, I was approached by a company called EJF, which I'll confess I had never heard of, um, to do a bit of charity work. So I thought, well, this is something that I'm, I'm in, the, in the textiles trade. I, my job is to sell clothes. So this would be an ideal thing to sort of try and get involved with. And pretty much since then, I've wanted to do anything I can to help. Um, what I'm trying to do is target individual people who can easily make a difference themselves. And that, I've noticed over the six, seven years I've been working with the charity, is the disposable nature of fashion is something that is just completely unnecessary. There's stores on the high street now that sell t-shirts at two pounds. And that means directly someone has suffered because, because of that. You can't, you can't make profits on things like that unless somebody's not getting paid enough to manufacture it. It's as simple as that. If you took that, what, two pound, 25 t-shirts at two pound, if you took that 50 pound, and bought one t-shirt, firstly it would be of better quality so it would last you longer. You could wear it 30 times, you know, for six months, a year even, and you could learn about it. You could learn that if you wear it with a, a hat, it, look, it dresses down. If you wear it underneath a suit jacket, it dresses it up. And you develop a style. If you then take that to your entire wardrobe, you'd have investment pieces throughout your wardrobe that you've learned to mix and match, and basically, ultimately, created a style. You literally, I, I can't force people to change their opinion, but hopefully I'm giving them enough information and enough of an option next time they walk into, into town looking to buy an item of clothing. I think London fashion um, and London designers have got this incredible balance between a nod to heritage and what's traditional and what is our culture, whilst also being incredibly innovative and pushing things forward. And that is something you don't tend to find at, in, at any other fashion capitals around the world. They all have their strengths, but I think that's the wonderful thing about London. That's what, that's what we get from London. On a personal level, this place is in my bones. I love London. I love the whole, I love the architecture, the style, the people, the culture and everything. And there's nothing, as I mentioned before, there's nothing more cultural than London Fashion Week.